Hi, I'm Coach Pedro, and I'm the lead coach at Movement Athletics. I'm here to get you started off with a great warm-up because every great workout must start with an awesome warm-up, okay? Quality of the warm-up is gonna give you a more quality workout. So we're gonna start from our head down to our toes for this warm-up, okay? Starting with your neck first, all right? We're gonna start with some neck rolls. Go ahead, chin, ear to shoulder, back of the head, and shoulders, all right? Let's roll that five to 10 times, as many as you might need to feel good and right. After you go one direction, you go the other. Now, I know I'm giving you sets of numbers to do, but I ain't gonna go all the way through with this warm up. I'm just showing you what you need to do for your warm up, okay? After you go um, circles right there, try turning your head all the way left and all the way right. Hands on the steering wheel, hold the shoulders still. Turn as far as you can over, and then the other way. Same thing, about five to 10 on each side. After the neck, we're gonna go to your shoulders, okay? Arms right here, start with small, tight arm circles. After about five to 10, you go a little bit bigger and bigger until you get to full size. If you wanna add a balance element to this, you do it on one leg, okay? Now that might be asking too much at the beginning, but over time, you'll find that your balance improves and you can do that. Then I want you to go backwards, same thing. Small tight circles. As the shoulder cavity starts to warm up, you get bigger and bigger until you get to full size. And again, at some point, you might be doing this on one leg to start warming up your coordination, foot muscles, and getting the shoulders warmed up, knocking two birds with one stone. But don't be like you have to start with that balance at the beginning, okay? After those arm circles, you start doing some flies right here. Notice as I come back, my palms come up and I gently start to warm up my chest. I wanna hit every muscle fiber I can, so as I'm doing this, you're going up, every few swings, my palms are coming up, until I'm coming all the way up high here, still rotating those palms side to side here. You might go up and down a few times. You might go a lot or a little. Again, it depends on your chest, your muscles, and your needs, and where you are as a human athlete. After my chest and shoulders, I want to start warming up my spine as well. So I'm going to start doing some core rotations. Notice my feet stay in place. I'm coming side to side here, breathing as I'm doing this. And then I'll start adding this pivot and coming all the way around. My pivot or my feet stop at the forward position because now not only am I warming up my spine, but I'm hydrating the hip socket where my leg is at right here. Okay, notice how this is holding still as I'm going through these circles, okay? Same thing as all the other ones. You might need a lot, you might need a little, okay? Up to you. Now that I got my chest, shoulders, neck, spine, hips warmed up a little bit more, we're gonna do some hula hips, okay? Hands on your hips, go circles here. Keep on breathing as you're going through this movement here. Same as the others, five, 10, 15, 20, 30, I don't care. Whatever feels right for you, when you feel loosened up, I'm gonna give you a lateral view, and then make sure you go the opposite direction as well. Hands on those hips, really pressing open here. From all that sitting in the desk or driving around in the car, we want the opposite of keeping these hips flexed all the time. So we gotta hydrate with these circular, spiraling movements in the body. From right here, you can go hinges to back bends, so you can start with straight legs or bent knees, your call, feeling the hamstrings, and press open. Wanna get, now that we got the hamstrings and hips warmed up, you want to get the quads as well. You can start with doing some gentle butt kicks to start getting some blood going through. Hip flexors, quadriceps here, keeping those heels up. 
And after a few of those, what I like to call spin the world. Spin, spinning, spinning the world. If you kind of throw your knee and your heels back, you feel the stretch up a little bit higher. I would recommend doing this cold, but after you've warmed up a little bit, it's a good one to throw in there. After spinning the world or the chicken walk, you can do another one for your hips by going up and out, okay? So circle, my knee comes inward and outward right here. We're getting dynamic balance, more fluid through the hip socket for whatever kind of movement you're gonna do. 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever feels right for you. Knee comes up, out, and down. Up, out, and down. So, we've got our hamstrings, our quads, hips, uh, hip cavity, all these things nice and warmed up. Now a little fun one, okay? You're going to go hands on your knees, and we're going to go circles right here. You're going to feel different things going on in here. All the way up into the hip sockets. The knees are getting this little warm up right here too by getting this twisting movement right here. And you're even going to feel this in the ankle. You might get carried away and do about 100 before you realize that, oh shoot, I gotta go the other way. The warm up should be fun, should be light. Getting your mind right. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what that looks like. And the knees are going here, straightening out, in circles. So, we've gotten just about everything from our head all the way down to toes. Ankles are next, okay? So you're gonna go feet on the ankles right here. Circle. Digging my toes in. Again, however many you think you might need. We all have different needs. After you go one direction, go the other. If you've ever experienced injury, you might notice a little bit more tightness or discomfort in one or the other. It's okay, part of the journey. This is hydrating those ankles, and we're basically building a little bit of an insurance policy for you here, okay? Toes in. The way now. And then the other way. And I don't recommend this next one for everybody, but your call, okay? We're going to do leg walking on the ankles here, okay? You can take a few steps forward, a few steps backward. What it looks like on the side, bam, right here. Over time, as you get better, you'll be able to put some serious power and tension on those. And again, that's in case it happens, because it can. Oh, now the inner blades, right? Take a few steps forward, doing the out on P walk. And then back, we're working the inners, right? You can even do this kind of squatting motion on both the inners and the outers. And with that, we've got just about everything, but there's one more thing we didn't get to. Wrists, hold the hands, clasp right here, circles, getting me forearms, wrists, back the other way, now, hands pressing right here, stretching the fingers, you should feel that from here as you go, both sides now, right here, you'll feel the muscles up to the top of the forearms as you press this down. Notice how you can take this all the way back. Not everybody can. We all have different genetic build, different life experiences that will have your wrists in different places. And now, here's a good one on the floor for the wrist, just because you can go more full load. Arms straight, palms together, fingers splayed out, lean side to side. Hands on the floor. Keep the arms locked. Look at the eye of the elbow facing you here. I turn this all the way forward. Arms are straight, gently putting load. Feeling that stretch in the back of the wrist, forearms. Matter of fact, this one might be a good one to do after the end of your workout as well. Now we're gonna do the ox fist, okay? Let's progress this one or begin. Scoop the thumbs right here. Turn the eye of the elbow forward, and load back gently here, not too hard. 
over time, you'll progress and be able to come forward right here, again, you can down the elbow forward, leaning back, feeling the stretch through the wrists and forearms through here. Now, I like to say we've pretty much covered all the bases, okay? Can we do more? Yes, we can, but that should be good enough to get you started, okay? If there was one thing I missed, it was probably the out inner legs right here. Come out and do some gentle side to side, keeping that chest upright to take a look at the target, the enemy, and keep that posture good, okay? All right, all your bases are covered. You should be ready to rock and roll. Have an awesome workout. Long live the strong.